Hello everyone, welcome to Black Arrow Gaming. I'm Bob and this is the 23rd, 24th episode in our Age of Wonders 3 co-op strategy series. Is it 23 or 24? I'm starting to it's, lose count. It's an odd number, whatever it is. Then it's 23. Alright, so here we are, back in the underground. Big Goblin Army coming up underneath Muldan. I've got some units here. Evan and, I, Evan and I have been discussing off camera about the potential of trying to kill the Goblin Theocrat, at least to take out their leader for a few turns. He's kind of off by himself. Um, and I realize that I have an actual good shot of doing this. We've got, or I have, a Banshee right here that is floating, and I can summon a Chthonic Guardian on the next turn. If I move my armies to this area, these two tiles where they're guarding the cave exit, nothing can get through to Muldan, and I'll be able to summon something and send it out after the Goblin Theocrat. One small problem is that this army will be able to rush in and take this city, but I should be able to get it right back. So I'm not too worried about that. Plus, my King's army is kind of headed this way. I don't really know how long it'll take before they actually link back up with this group, but um, that's one thing to keep in mind, and one thing that I think I'm going to try to do at the beginning of the next turn. Um, a couple of other things, comments that I wanted to respond to. Um, Arch Redbeard, you had suggested that uh, over in Vushnell I could build Draconian Elders. That's actually probably a pretty good idea. It'd be more units with healing, and the Lost Library will make them a little better. Um, plus they have fire resistance for helping to deal with Shrines of Smiting, so I guess if I'm going to build anything out here, that's probably what I will build. That, or maybe some chargers, just have a quick tier 1 throwaway flying unit, but the elders would probably be better in the long run because of their ability to heal. Um, so I'm going to look at what that city's doing. Right now it's building production, which is fine. I'll let it do that, get the Master's Guild, and then kind of change in that direction. Matthew Hallahan, you had actually recommended that I research any of the Enemy of the Faith, which gives all units Devout Slayer. That's a really good idea, um, because we're fighting a Theocrat, that would be very useful. It will take me a couple turns to get it, but I think that's a that's an okay detour. Um, it also gives units Deva uh, Support Slayer, and any Evangelists that they have, it'll help deal with them a little bit too. So, I'll go ahead and grab that. Seems like a good idea. All right, that's it for this turn other than repositioning my armies appropriately down here. So I'll go ahead and do that. I am going to put these guys here and have these guys sit here. And I'm gonna send the lost soul, whoop, almost made a mistake there. This guy has to be in the army that's further up in this direction. So I need to send one shock trooper out of this army. Add this guy to that group. Put the shock trooper here so that I can summon a Chthonic Guardian right next to him. Um, I think he has to be directly adjacent to one of your heroes. And I'll probably put it in this forest tile here and then just rush him on the next turn. A couple things about the Goblin Theocrat. His health is fairly low. I don't think he have even ever upgraded it. That's the only way it'd be as low as 55. He only has 10 defense, so he's not a very tough physical fighter, but has a ton of casting points, probably a lot of pretty good spells. So, if I can rush him before those spells become a huge problem, I think I can take him out. And I do have spells of my own that I can use to help. Alright, that group looks good, that group looks good. They're more than powerful enough to deal with these armies that's the only one that can reach them and uh, yeah here we go all right I think I've got him all right here we go probable victory I'll take it Slayer's Doubt on the Chthonic Guardian. Okay, that's not good. We'll have to try to dispel that. 
could also cast a debuff on him, but Stiffen Limbs is really the only one I've got. And that doesn't seem like a good idea, so... Because he's a, he's pretty much just going to sit in one spot and cast spells anyway. Death Ray won't do a lot of damage to him because he's a goblin. Um, I can see how much it would do. I think I'm going to... I really need to dispel that from the Chthonic Guardian. Whoops, I should have tried to dispel that first. I don't know if I'd have gotten my movement back or not, but... Let's see if I can phase up right next to him with this guy and... No, let's try to dispel this first and see what happens. Okay, he'll probably try to ca Okay, good, I get my movement back. So just get as close to him as I can. And then phase this unit next to him. Put some pressure on him. But I'm not going to attack him. Okay, he let down his guard. These guys do not have charge as far as I know. So... And my health and defense and pretty much everything is better than what he has. So, at this point, before attacking him, I'm gonna go at, now I'm gonna use Stiffen Limbs to lower his defense and his melee damage for that matter. Okay, I think he's toast now. Oh yeah, he's dead now. All right, got him. So that slows the goblins down, hopefully, for a little bit. I'm going to try to get the guardian away from those other units, just pulling him back. And then we'll wait and see what those other goblin units do. Random units for pe or uh, items for people. I think I sent around on the last turn or something. I'm not sure why he has this. That item's actually better. And he's also got a spider he's not using. I need to give this guy... Probably give him the spider. He's a lot of good stuff, actually. Alright, that should help rebalance some of that, I think. Heaven was able to knock out a couple more Lords of the Deep over here. Pretty sure those were the ones that I thought were kind of threatening La Semption. So that helps take some pressure off me. This Goblin army out here is still an issue. Kind of waiting to see what they do. Um, if they want to go after the city at this point in time, there's not a lot I can do about it. Alright, I have a mess of units over here that... I was pulling back to deal with the goblins in case they came this way. One thing I realized, a potentially large weakness um, that I haven't really been doing anything about, or haven't really been thinking about, if you look in this area, I have no idea what's out here. It's possible Orange has some decent cities over here by this point in the game, and could actually have a decently sized army. If they were to send something west towards Muldan, I could actually lose the city. I don't have an army in there that's particularly strong to defend it, so a few juggernauts would probably wipe that out. I may need to consider sending an army in that direction, um, a decently powerful army to deal with some stuff, but the army that I'd be most likely to send is the one that I'm currently kind of pulling back to defend my capital. Another quick little battle, Heaven picked off a 
Shrine of Smiting. He's kind of moving his army up, I think. I think what he was talking about doing in his last video was summoning a scout to go see how heavily defended that mermaid city is. See if there's a possibility that he might be able to capture that and then cast Scorch Earth on it or something. Which would be nice if we could prevent Brown from, from building more of those irritating uh, Lords of the Deep. Okay. That ogre is just going to sit in there for a while. <laughs> He's got to patch up. All right. Oh, man, I was really hoping that was their leader, but he's not. Orange's hero is still nowhere to be found. He moved a decent-sized army into that city, but it's absolutely nothing compared to the force that I can bring. Whoops. Well, I'll take care of these things up here first. Let's see. Teal pulled their... Did you happen to see what direction Teal pulled the army back that was closing in on my island city? No, I didn't. I would assume they're going back towards the Anthoria area. Because they certainly didn't go east. And we would have seen them if they did. If Teal is pulling back, which it looks like they are, then I'm going to use the army that I was sending back to defend my capital city area and use it to push east from Muldan to try to make sure Orange doesn't get the jump on me from that direction. I don't even need to bring the archers along because they're not going to be that helpful against any machines. But of course, I want those Storm Sisters. I was really hoping I had some with uh, stun by this would have some with stun over here, but all the ones with stun are over by Anthoria, and they kind of need to be there for now, because that's our main army for pushing forward. So, I'll group these people back up. And I think this one I was going to have grab those haste berries on the way past. Alright, that puts gives me a pretty decent army. Some fairly tough units to go deal with those problems. Still have plenty of money, so grab another shock trooper. I'm gonna get as many units onto that city tile as I can for the moment just in case something comes this way that's kind of freaking me out. Okay, uh, this city down here has already become ghoulified, so I can start building things here. It's a dwarf metropolis right now. I'm considering changing that to elves because of the Vault of Knowledge there. It'd be nice to have a second city for producing archers. Um, this really isn't a good city to be Dwarf in general, because it has bonuses to Cavalry and Archers, and Dwarves don't really have good units in either of those two categories. So I am going to migrate this, probably what I should have done with it in the first place. My only other options are Draconians and Orcs. Orcs would be okay with the mounted units, but I would rather get more Elf Archers. All right, back to orange over here before I accidentally clicked away. Okay, that's all he's got in there, so. Oh, and because of those haste berries there, that's gonna give my griffin rider an opportunity to do some exploration in this area. It says closely matched, but whoa, 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 hold on a second. Attacking the wrong tile. <laughs> Oops. Need to attack from this point. There we go. That's a little more like it. <laughs> I was wondering how that could have possibly been a closely matched battle. Oh no, they have chickens. 
Okay, there are no units in this area that really concern me enough to prevent me from just doing an outright charge. So we're going to try to make this quick. Probably will kind of slide units. Whoops. Well, that's not what I wanted to do, but okay. Yep, pretty much everybody run forward. <laughs> I do need to remember to use the rest of my casting points and start getting another spell. Okay, should be able to stun this guy. There we go. Musketeers have already shot, so they actually are no threat. May as well go after the trebuchet instead. See if I can stun that. I'd rather stun that than the prospector. It's not going to give it to me, but that's all right. Actually, this group can take a shot at stunning the Prospector. We're probably outright killing it, just about. I'll let my king do the honors here, I think. All right. I think he's got a bow in here somewhere. Yep. Alright. Rest of them should go down pretty quickly. They failed to dispel that. Okay, the unicorns apparently want a piece of me. Musketeer that's running off, but he'll probably come right back to me, so that's fine. There we go. It's another dead hero. There we go. Finally got the stun in on that trebuchet. That dwarf firstborn may want to pick a fight with me. I will let it deal with the, uh, well, you know what? These guys have first strikes. So they're not actually bad in a situation like that. And with him having come out here, or uh, with them having no range units in the area, can start climbing the orcs over the wall. Maybe down there. Come on, I can't click on him. I think my king can finish this unicorn off with no trouble. Oh yeah. There we go. They're just out of range of the, the uh, dwarf firstborn there. They're going to absolutely annihilate that thing. If an rider can move up, everybody's good. Solve that problem there, and then that lets him go and deal with the trebuchet. And does anyone else need healing? That's it. I 
down and stay down. They got him back up again, I was wondering about that. Alright, well... Surprise. Okay, now that that's down, move my king in to actually capture the city. Should give me a nice view down here. Still no sign of the enemy. At this point I wonder which way I should go. I could go further west or I could go north. I think what I was talking about doing and what I'm going to do is fly out as far in this direction as I can while still being able to return to those haste berries, which isn't much further. back and get those. Now he's got 30 movement and uses 3 per space, so I can afford to go out a certain distance, but I have to keep time to return. My armies can all get to that tile to defend him, so 1, 2, 3, 4. Just hoping I spot the borders of another city out here. If I do, I'll probably go this way. So far I have not, and if there was a city in here of any decent size, I would have seen its borders by now, because my other army came about that far. Now, I can assume, or actually I know that they do have Farrick, um, but that... I'm going to wait until a little later to go after that one. I would prefer, I think, to see what's up in this direction. So that's where I'm going to go. Let's make sure everybody can get back on the same tile. Okay, he's slowing everybody else down slightly, but eh, not by much. Those ones only have one movement left, so that's okay. All right, this city, that's good for support units, good for siege weapons. I also just realized that this bridge here doesn't go anywhere, so I don't have to worry about that. Unless, of course, units come across the lava. I'm going to say migrate to... You know what, I'm just going to leave this one as dwarves. I probably won't build... I probably won't build anything in there. Was I migrating another city somewhere? I think I was. And maybe that was why I was migrating this one to a dwarf city. That was why I wasn't migrating two. Because I didn't want to go into an evil alignment. But you know what? I'd still rather have the extra elf archers, so I'm going to cancel this and just leave it the way it is. All right, back over here, build a master's guild. Actually, I don't have quite enough money for that. Um, just generate merchandise for now. Make sure I even have enough money to make those in the long run. My dwarves up here will have a very likely victory, but they need to heal up pretty badly first. I'm gonna abort that attack and let them wait there. What do you want to do with the armies that are around Anthoria? Wait and see what Teal's army is doing. Okay, so hold ground here then for the moment. I think they're in a pretty good formation there. 
probably improve it a little bit, but I'm going to stay next to the city so I can defend the walls if I need to. Right, everyone else I think is okay where they are. Oh, right. A goblin army was going after the dreadnought here. There's only one juggernaut in this city, so this should be over pretty easily. And I'll attack with the flyers, because the rest of them needs to really keep moving. Whoops. Or I'll do that. Okay, need to uh, get those Storm Sisters up, but also want to heal them. They're a little bit beaten up. I can distract that thing by shooting the Draconian Flyers who have a natural fire resistance. That would be kind of nice. Or it'll just hit everything. <laughs> well, that's fine. Everybody charge! Not going to be able to get a whole lot of opportunities to stun this thing, but maybe I'll get lucky. Not yet. Ouch. That's the first time I've seen them use that in this game. to give the experience to the Chthonic Guardian for killing it. Actually, I can't really hit it with anything else anyway. Oh, maybe her? They're healing the walls that they destroyed themselves. Alright. Finish that off and gets a promotion for my tier 4 unit. Okay, so slowly taking back what I've lost over here. Now I am going to leave, like I was saying, a group of flyers back, but there's one problem. They can't really heal unless I built structures in these cities that allow them to, and I actually don't have those yet. So after that flyer's done building, uh, I just cooled that city. After that flyer's done building, I may stop that and uh, stop the production of the next one and build a structure in there that can regenerate them. For the time being, I will have a couple follow my army along as just kind of back up. And let the others go back to pick off any stragglers that show up. Okay, my longbowmen should be able to see what's in this goblin city down here. And there is nothing in that goblin city down there, so I'm going to try to grab that next turn. Get that back. And then I can start sending fresh new longbows to the front line. The goblins did not counterattack me down here. They did leave their army in a spot where they're fairly well protected and barked on the water, though, so I can't do anything about that. I'll just get my Chthonic Guardian back with this group on the next turn. And they don't seem to be threatening the city either, so I will leave these armies where they're currently at. Storm Sister's fine where she is. And the Longbow I'm going to have just sit in the capital. And that does it. 
got a joint offer from a city, but I didn't have enough money. I wouldn't have had enough money to do anything about it. Okay, got enemy of the faith, so I can go back to researching. What? Hang on. Go away, go away. Almost forgot. Don't, don't get him. Go, go, go. There we go. Almost forgot he was vulnerable out there by himself. I can't afford to lose a tier 2 unit. Or a tier 4 unit. Those goblins, I think, may have been embarking to go out after him. Yeah. Oh, that's the city that I don't want to join me. Because it's better off on its own. Okay, back to researching Age of Death. Um, that enemy of the faith spell will hopefully come in handy, so... Thanks to, uh, thanks to uh, you for suggesting that. It's an arc red beard, but it wasn't Matthew Hallahan, right? Okay, this guy's got a whole bunch of brand new items. Just may as well load him up with some good gear. Hey, look at this. The Draconian finally surrendered to me. It's about time. I will gladly accept your surrender. After Evan does his battle. There we go. Eric the Rust Skin has lost. Evan did uh, defend a city over here. His throne city, actually. So that's pretty important. I think more important is that this guy is now finally dead on turn 87. My gosh. Okay, so I should have gotten his leader, capital, wherever it is now. Um, he doesn't have his original capital, so I don't really know how that works. Oh, there's items there that I never picked up. got a few miscellaneous armies sitting around here not really doing anything um well I guess if he is around somewhere he'll pop up eventually I suppose if I get to use this leader maybe he's at my capital nope oh well he'll pop up in the move order at some point All right, well, uh, that changes some things, but probably not this. I should build a Harvester's Guild in this city anyway, um, and the buildings that follow it, because it'll make the Ghoul Flyers that I'm making better here, as well as allowing them to heal. I am going to send my Goblin Army forward and at least go get this city back, which has a couple of... Juggernauts in it, decent defense. Bring the flyers up to help out with this one. Unfortunately, uh, still... definitely just found Brown's leader. It's in kind of an awkward spot, get to. Uh, I see that. He was coming back to help retake his capital. Brown's leader's pretty weak, too. You could take him. You'd have to go ahead and embark all your units now, though. But I don't think they have had time to move their capital yet. So I'm pretty sure that would knock them out of the game, too. And then that'd just be just us and Teal. And at that point, it's pretty much game over. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take these guys out. They're gonna hold their ground, so I'm going to charge. That was a waste of flame throwing. Ha! 
Ouch. Well, that's pretty impressive for a Storm Sister to take a hit from all that stuff and still be okay. Those nymphs are, yeah, they're not very likely to be stunned. I'll just overpower them with other units. spells that would be particularly useful so I'm just gonna use sprint and get an extra hit in on that tank oh except uh, there's that hole it explodes thing so gotta remember that I'd maybe try to lure the nymphs into trying to seduce that draconian raptor let the flyers deal with them afterwards if they do They just came right out and smacked. Oh, right, of course, they can't seduce it because I'm undead. Got the stun. Oops. <laughs> I was thinking I was targeting the chuck or not. That was sloppy. I can, well, I can't charm a unit if it's already dead. I don't care. I just want to get these guys out of here. Have the Storm Sisters patch him up, I guess. All right, everybody. Good job. Wait a second. What? How did... Trying to the Queen of Spy... Oh, I was wondering how those guys... How my flyers had greater webbing touch. Alright, you need some patching up. Sorry about that. for that one too. City belongs to me. So with the Draconians not actively trying to send units into my land, the handful of flyers I have back here will probably be fine. That'll allow my goblins main army to go across the water and actually clear out this area on the overworld, which would allow me to send more units west towards where we presume Teal is. Well, that was awesome, because guess what just happened? Lena the Ruth Huntress has lost. Evan's army was able to take her out on the water there, and she had not had time to rebuild her capital yet, which is currently smoldering ruins right there. So that pretty much does it for her, and probably does it for the enemies in general, because now it's just the two of us versus Teal, that's something we can manage. <laughs> Who knows, Evan? Maybe I'll get to put my island city back out where it used to be in the bay. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, you better hurry, because I'm going to take it before you get to it, probably. <laughs> That's all right. I'm going to put cities behind my territory, build some settlers, take over this place. Uh, migrate to nothing. I'm going to go that city. Schoolify all my cities. So what I was saying here is, yeah, I'm going to try to go across the water here and, and use this army to clear the above ground area. Let the flyers hang out down here. 
if any teal units come in like scouts or something they'll be able to kill them pretty easily in fact these three flyers are probably more than enough to be in this area I probably don't even need them here so I'll keep these two with my king's army the only thing is that uh, I kind of need to be in their healing right now no, I can't even get them together they're out of movement that's fine that's fine, I'm not worried about it. Well, keep making merchandise up here, I guess, until I've got money to buy stuff. Got to micromanage this again to let the uh, let that reanimator heal the cadaver before these other units. Be nice to have an extra healer in that army. Well, now that Orange is dead, I don't have to worry about pulling troops back to guard that area. Probably wouldn't be a... Well, it looks like Teal's rethinking what they're going to do with that army. I'll leave a few units back around my capital to deal with that if they come this way. Maybe try to get them out onto that island. But the bulk of my units here I'm going to be able to send forward now. I'll bring a reanimator just because they haven't seen a lot of action. I will leave a full stack on Muldan just because I've, I'm not taking any chances. Probably give him a nice balanced stack. Okay, and the decent sized army here that I am going to send up north just in case Teal comes this way and tries to pick a fight. Alright, that's probably good. Alright, so the armies that are near Anthoria, you want to go ahead and push? Go try to get no. Illinois back. No. You don't? No. Alright. Then we're gonna have everybody hold ground there. Maybe Teal will get really demoralized and just surrender. That would be nice. They're not going to defend it. The oh, they are going to defend that city. A bunch of Naga Slithers. I think they have shock weakness, if I'm not mistaken. No, they don't. They have a lot of other weaknesses. Do they have anything like projectile resistance? No, not really. I think that with my magic... Yeah. Teal can't cast spells right now anyway. I'll get these guys. Take them out before the city becomes a problem. Kinda wanna get on a flank angle here. Nine to three, one to two, nine to thirteen. Much better to use physical arrows against these guys. No, actually, I can take all these out. Oh, that's where the other longbowman was. Oh, you just walked right in the middle of a firing squad. That was easy. I wonder if 
I should leave these archers up in that city to defend? Probably not. What I need to do is build a road between these two cities. Actually, there's a few roads that I need to build. Because he's a goblin and a lot of his units have wetlands walking, this is all these wetlands in here is kind of a disadvantage for me. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and take time to build a builder to go do that. I'll build it here, though. So that that other city can continue to make archers. Alright. Already know what's going on at Muldan. wonder whether maybe I should start making more griffin riders, something that can get up in the face of those shrines of smiting a little bit more effectively. Just absorb that. We'll see how my storm sisters do in the coming turns. Oh, it's so nice to have all that pressure off us. Back-to-back -back KOs. These independents aren't hostile, so I don't even need to worry about killing them. If nothing else, they'd just be good experience. But I do want my armies down here, probably at this point, to split up. And, uh, oh, Ferric the Roughskin joined these armies. He's right next to them. Alright, well, decent dreadnought. I definitely have armies he could lead. I send him out towards the front line. Actually, you know what? He could lead an army of... He could lead an army down here, now that I think of it. Yeah, why not? I'll send a gold rank storm sister towards the front line. She can explore that route, too. Uh, should probably go back and see what items were dropped here, if there's anything good. Okay, this item is pretty much useless to me. He's got a nice... He's got some nice stuff. Anything that I don't need, I'll probably send to the Necromancer. Since he's kind of like my new guy. And then, if he doesn't need it, I'll probably just sell it. I'd already know I'm going to sell this. That's a pretty useless weapon. Just plus one attack strength is nothing right now. Everybody else already has a melee weapon, and I'm pretty sure they're mostly better than what he's got. So I'll hang on to that, but if I need a little extra money later, I might sell that too. Okay, he's got a whole bunch of XP points to use, and I'm going to turn him into a fighter. Let's give him a lot of just stats. Four aprons would be also be nice on undead, so I will grab that too. Imperial Army does not work on Undead, so I can ignore that. Machine and Undead units cannot be healed by Guardian Flames, so... I'll probably skip that one and just opt for stat boosts instead. Get him some defense. I'm gonna get him some resistance, too. I'll spend a decent amount to bump that up. Inflict Immolation is always nice, especially the demoralizing effect it has on people. Wizard Hunters doesn't do me that much good against a Theocrat, they're not really summoning much of anything. 
and they don't have much lightning magic. So, don't need that either. That's really crank resistance up there pretty high. Get some more health. And then spend the rest on defense. That looks pretty good. A Dreadnought with 20 defense, 17 resistance, and 70 health. He'll be a pretty good fighter. Oh, that's nice. They've already cleared the castle of the Lich King for me. Now, I want to find where they've got their other cities down here. I think this group will go back and get these cities down here, back under my control. Alright, and no sign of Teal's army in this area, so I think we're okay here. I'm not going to get too greedy. I'll hold their ground there for now. Maybe jump back over to my city on the next turn. Oh hey. Didn't realize this, but this is in my territory. Um, I can probably auto combat this, but just because there's spiders involved, I don't want to get webbed and have something die a needless death. All right, bring it on. The other nice thing about doing it this way is I could hopefully get a Storm Sister promoted. It's down on the boar. Now, which one of you needs the promotion? This one does. And she is really close. All she needs to do is really hit something. Oh yeah, there we go. gives me a little bit more research. Probably should have done that a while ago. It gives this guy a gun too. And a level. That was a decent, that was kind of a good battle for me to go do. Uh, I love Warcry, so I'll put that on him. First strike's nice, but I picture this guy as being more of an attacker than a defender, so probably would be more likely to give him something like Overwhelm, or more hit points. Goblin army's still there, going to put York in my capital for the time being. And everybody else can run down the road towards the front line. Uh, these guys want me to quell a rebellion out here. Get a vassal proposal, a big beetle. Eh, why not? That's a, it's probably about time for me to add that city to my empire anyway. Getting out there is a little tricky. I don't think there's a cave entrance, so I'll have to pop up over here maybe with my king's army. Speaking of my king's army, they're kind of headed right that way anyway. Oh, the goblins did take my island city. So I have to get ready for a little battle back by my capital. My army can get those haste berries and make it a little further on this turn. 
only one Tiger and Mystic in this city, so it's an easy auto combat. Wizard Tower Ruins. This army could probably clear it, but I don't want to... I don't really want to mess with it right now. Let's see what's in there. Eldritch Horror, King Shock Serpent. Eh. Not going to take any weird chances. Not right now when we've got a decisive upper hand. I'll let that sit for now. 30 knowledge would be really nice, but for now we just need to not make stupid mistakes. Okay, these guys want peace with me. I guess that's cool. It's not going to matter because Evan's going to capture them anyway. Evan had a battle. Took out Tiger and Mounted Archer. Kind of in the middle of everything over here. It's at the southern end of the map. I guess just a straggler unit running around. Hopefully there's not too much more of that. Okay, more good news. Um, <laughs> I have high elf deity military now. I'll have an elven archer and support units ignore line of sight penalties. I could get one that gives elven cities with the great temple upgrade more uh, caster channeling points, but this is better because the bulk of my army is turning into these support units and archers. So that's a really good one for me. gonna send one of these draconian flyers out ahead to kind of scout the area and see what I can find then I guess I could just leave this flyer sitting on this city over here so they're not completely undefended Okay, these guys are kind of in the way. You know what? Move. Cannon, Elder. There we go. Just clear the way. <laughs> hey, my leader got upgraded. I can now get... Where is it? Inflict Ghoul Curse. Something I should have gotten a long time ago. Might get a few units clearing out these remaining structures, these remaining cities over here. Be kind of nice. Also, also wouldn't mind my king having Dispel Magic, but let me check here. There are others like Undying and Necromantic Aura, things that would be nice that I could get on the next turn if I don't buy anything now. So I'm not going to buy anything else. I'll get another good skill on the next level. Right, this city down here has got probably pretty pretty good upgrades all around. I'm gonna build. I'm gonna build up my undead up. No, actually, I'm gonna grab an observatory. My money supply is running a little bit on the low side. But that's okay, that just means I've got a lot of units. I need that Embalmer's Guild in this city, though. That's the one that heals my units. I'm going to cancel the production that I just selected for this city and have it do merchandise instead. There we go, that's better. Merchandise for here. Some of these cities I'll probably put on automatic generation of merchandise once I kind of figure out what I want them all to do in the long run. Uh, for the first turn in a while, I actually don't have enough money to build another shock trooper. So I'll put that on money for now as well. 
Looks like the goblins split off and exalted from their army, but I bet the rest of that stuff is sitting on that island city. Well, once my units get up here and get a little organized, I'll pile them together and go across the water, get that city back. Bunch of shock troopers and storm sisters, but it'll work. If I can embalmer's guild over here too, that would be helpful for my dwarves, but for the time being I'm gonna have to do without. Oh look, Goblin Army came back. I'm gonna take these guys out. Oh crap, I forgot to start casting a spell on the last turn. I'm probably gonna use one in this battle though. I'll at least get that started so I don't forget. All right, well, we got these guys. You can go ahead and launch that attack whenever you're ready. What attack? I don't want to attack those there. Why not? What are you doing? Why would we? <laughs> we could kill them pretty easily. Or we could let them attack the city and kill them even easier. If that's where they're going. If they're not going there, then we can attack them next turn. Alright. That army is not going anywhere, so I can put them on camp now. In fact, I'm going to put several armies on camp so they stop bothering me. I would expect that the goblins will come try to retake that city, but hopefully by the time they do, I'll have a road going out there. Oops. How did that get selected? I think I just clicked on a notification. There we go. Keep getting lost in the underground. Right. I'm going to feel a lot better once I have some good archers up on the front lines. And I guess until we decide to make the full push on Teal, keep those guys on hold too in the underground. Apparently there's a giant city up there that I hadn't seen. Nice would it be if that was undefended. It's definitely not. Run away. I'll have this army go up there and grab that after it gets the cities off in this direction. I got my builder, so I can have it go after those haste barriers and then just run all the way up through here. 
That's dirt cavern walls. I should tunnel through that and make a little bit of better road that way. I'm not sure why I didn't tunnel through that before. I must have thought it was cave walls or rock cave walls. My research is going up pretty quickly now with all these new cities and things coming under my control. It's up at 346. What is this, Necromancer's level 6? He's got some good stuff coming soon. I think I'm going to hold off and wait for level 7. Not pick anything. Yeah, those guys apparently want to go after... Engrenost. Alright, that's got something now that can finally help keep these guys alive. And it did heal them up, so that's good. See what this giant city is doing over here. I've actually really been very curious as to what's in this area for a while now. Evan just got that uh, goblin evangelist that was flying kind of away from the rest of this army. Figured he'd probably pick him off. Okay. My units seem to be able to get to this point here. I think that's where I'll embark from. Yeah, I'll bring that extra one along. Why not? Probably give this army an even balanced mix and have the shock trooper go by itself because it's got a little more movement, can hook up with the others a bit easier. Evan just got that stupid mermaid city that's been causing so much trouble with those Lords of the Deep. Now we can make Lords of the Deep much, much better. Are all those miscellaneous independent units sailing around enemies of you? No. Okay. Still not ready for them to join yet, just because I know there's goblin units up in that area. For now, I'll stick these archers in this city. We'll probably balance them out later. Whoops, I am building... I definitely have build infinite builders turned on. I thought my money was going somewhere. Well, that's alright. I have a job that this one can do. that I've needed to construct for a long time. <coughs> what to do here at Halleck? I guess it should probably go back on produce merchandise. I was building those flyers, but I don't really think I need any more of them down here. Probably send an extra one off in this direction to go help the other one. Actually, I'll send two so that this guy can come back and heal up. She could see what was in that city. Okay, my goblin army can reach those haste berries. 
and get across the water. I don't really want halfling eagle riders. This city should probably just keep producing merchandise. Oh, this one actually has an embalmer's guild in it too. You can tell because the Cathedral of Bones is a build option. So he could heal up here too. But that's alright. Dwarf City. This city's got a lot of upgrades it could do. And actually I am going to buff it up a little bit. Because I wouldn't mind having those mana nodes fall under my control and the extra research from the ancient ruin. Out here I have enough now that I could start building some... Well, I'm going to start with that Embalmer's Guild since it seems like it'd be useful for my dwarf army. Have them rejoin so they can patch up. It looks like Evan's ready to launch the attack down here with these goblins. I won't be able to get all my units into the battle or all my stacks, but I can get my... Oh wait, yeah I can. thought that was a mountain tile there. And he can get a couple more. Uh, you can get an extra Shrine of Smiting in on this. Your Exalteds have a bit more movement than my units do, so I'll let you go ahead and attack whenever you're ready. Whoa! Divine Vengeance everywhere. Yikes, they really chunked out some health on that Chathana Guardian. Well, they pretty much walked right up to all my units, though, so... Should be able to kill those two Shrines of Smiting. Only problem is that one has not used Divine Vengeance yet. So I should probably try to target that one first, I guess. If I could stun it, that'd be perfect. the pirate. Doesn't seem like that good of a hero. Okay, well, first things first, I need to try to stun that Shrine of Smiting right there. Got it. First try, too. That makes the rest of this a lot easier. I think he has broken spirit. He does. I think I'm going to try to dispel that. I could possibly web the Shrine of Smiting, so I'm going to actually do that instead. Not get it, but lowered its movement a bit. Can't very easily cast Smiting Prayer Bolts now. Although it'll probably just take the hits and try to move away. Arcane arrows will do a bit more damage to this thing than regular will, as far as I know. Yep. So I can soften it up a little more. Hopefully make it so it can't get away. And yeah, at this point it won't be able to move away and do anything. Or 
right? And then with this army up here, I suppose, I'll just try the same tactic, see if I can stun that thing. There we go, that makes that a lot easier. That guy weakened my shock trooper. I'm gonna send him around to this side instead when I'm attacking this thing. Storm Sisters could dispel it if they got close enough, but I moved them too far away. Maybe I can convert that Blight Doctor during this round. Be careful with her though, because she did take a little bit of damage. to help out over there. And I want that Chthonic Guardian in the best shape it can be at all times. Okay, that looks pretty good for those guys. Didn't quite kill the Japonic Guardian, but they came kind of close. Glad it didn't use Divine Vengeance in that situation. It could have hit a lot of stuff. Was it the dispelled magic? I guess it was. Yeah, it would have been that orc priest. Evid's exalted. just continuing to mop up down here. These things have been extremely helpful this game. That resurgence ability on a tier 3 infantry flying unit is really nice. In fact, resurgence for us in general has been huge this game. Would it help you if I took out that weaker Shrine of Smiting, or do you have them both well under control? I've got them both under control. Yeah, I would say just kill off all those units that are down by you, and I'll handle these two shrines and that priest. I can't forget about those cherubs up there. <laughs> well, bye. Oh good, there's another Storm Sister here. Alright, I don't even think I need the armies that are up there. I don't think I need their help to take out these units. I do want to try to heal my Chthonic Guardian if I can, though. She's already used healing, so I'm going to try to stun that thing again. Oh wait, I forgot, they don't need to get close anymore. Man, they're doing work against those things. There we go. 
No line of sight penalties either, that's right. So my units have absolutely no penalty to shooting things like that. Charge! Alright, that's good. The rest of this is pretty much under control. was not paying attention and just left that Shrine of Smiting sitting there. <laughs> Didn't see it or I thought it died or something. Go away. <laughs> Alright, that's a l many more dead goblins. You gotta wonder how many more they could possibly have. I guess they did get that Centurion bonus when they got 100 units at once. Maybe that's we're finally starting to whittle that down a little bit. I presume we're sending our armies back to the north. I should go back to the northwest. Or do you have a different idea? No. All right. That all looks good. Okay, there we go. He'll clear that tunnel. Make way for a nice straight road. I can get my archers out of here like twice as fast with logistics. be worth the time to stop and build a wall in there real quick, but I don't think I'm going to need it. I just realized something. I just said something about having logistics, but I'm not sure that I have it in this game. I don't. I don't have advanced logistics yet, because I was going for Age of Death first. So never mind what I said there. Wouldn't be bad to put some cities and stuff down here, or even just a f fortress or something. Just if nothing else for the economic bonuses. Okay, grab another small city down here. I think those are wandering independents and not ones that'll prevent the city from generating resources. Cool, that one. Just turn everyone into undead minions. And I can finally go get that city back. It has been too long. That one's going to be building a road that goes to Muldan on the next turn. I need a way to get units back and forth between Muldan and that underground city pretty quickly since they're both just right in the middle of the map and I need to hold both of them. 
I think once I get another a third stack of units here, I'm going to start pushing through the underground with this army, the other army next to it. And then whatever archers I'm bringing down, I'm going to kind of mix them in and help have them help these units. Try to get three stacks moving west in the underground and see what I find. Right. I think that takes care of everything. There was a domain invasion in this city briefly. Oh, that's because the dragons are in the borders now. I guess. I don't see anything else there. I thought they'd been in the borders for a little while, but oh well. All right, well, that wraps this one up, I think. Um, great episode. Feel much better having not one, but two kills in this episode. So in the next one, I'm going to have to worry about getting Los Emshin back. That's probably my top priority right now is just getting Teal out of this area in general. Um, so Evan and I can go get Illinois, Nipuk, and some of the other cities back. Just spread through here get his territory back and then we should be able to pin the goblins down in that little corner if we're lucky they'll do something stupid and we'll be able to kill them off faster or they'll just surrender so this doesn't take forever but um i got a feeling they're still they still got some fight left in them all right everyone thanks a lot for watching appreciate it as always thanks a lot for your comments and i'll try to keep going through them as i can um and then in the next episode will be episode 24 we'll continue on and hopefully start bringing this thing to a close. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.